There are so many times when I wish you could be here during the breaks, and this was one of those times, you guys. I'm here, we're back. Why don't you and I introduce throw, Sam, and then we'll. Uh, <laughs> yes, we have with us in the studio Sam Tripoli, a stand up comedian who is going to be the headliner for this year's Fullerton Cares comedy show. Yes. And, and he's that, funny. I can guarantee you in the last funny, couple of minutes. And he I've and been. Nancy, <laughs> that we, we want to put in some mud here and just let them go for it. I'm in. Uh, I'm all in. It, like, it got back close. I ain't afraid to get weird. <laughs> I'll get weird for a charity. Let's do it. Mud wrestling for a charity. Let's get in um, it. I, I'm having trouble breathing. Do I look I, like the guy from <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds, don't I? I was going to say you're a pretty sharp dresser. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to dress nice and impress the ladies. I always forget how great plaid looks on camera. So yeah. you're rocking that. I plaid wasn't sure because sometimes you don't want to wear white on camera. They're like no yes. white on. I think that was like a way back in the day before they. No, fixed that. way back no, in the day. There's no, no rules. There's Stripes, no, it's everything. It's chaos. No, no, white, white still isn't okay for. Us. But it looks good though. I mean, it's popping. But, 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 but that plaid and plaid always looks good on Thank camera. Thank you. So, it is. So it's, it let's doesn't... talk about the but event. Now we'll let Sam go on. Let's talk about. About Sam and and what Sam does because this I was thinking of this as a departure for Fullerton Cares because you host something called the Naughty Show. Yes, yes. And and we asked if you were going to be naughty and you come from a particular uh, bent with comedy that involves burlesque. Burlesque and adults talking adult stuff. It's like risque, like you said. said it's risque, risque comedy. Yeah. Okay. I've always thought, you know, people, you work hard during the week, you you know, you grind nine to five, and you just want to go and release and have a little fun and get a little risque, you know? We've done it at the World Famous Comedy Store. It was one of the big, it's one of the biggest shows in Hollywood. We have our own permanent residence in Las Vegas. We do it at Plant Hollywood yeah, once a month. And so now we're doing it in Fullerton, and Fullerton gets it, man. They get it. They had Super Naked last time, now we got this one. I think just because it's a charity event doesn't mean it can't be a little risque, right? Well, absolutely. Now, when is the event this year? And um, it's for the sixth consecutive year. And it just gets bigger. And it's on? October 19th. 19th, yes, yeah. October Wednesday, 19th. Wednesday, October 19th. And you it's also, a Wednesday. in addition to the risque Sam Tripoli, Boom. you've got the number one burlesque group in LA, Les, Do Les yeah. Dolls. Uh, Miss Dakota, she's a, traveled the world. Whoa. She's done it all over the world. She has this amazing Look troupe. Look at you in a tux, Sam. Yeah, I bring You're heat. Sharp. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that man heat. You are, you are a dresser, Sam. Thank you. I like to dress up. <laughs> I look good in a suit. I look good in a suit. I bet um, you do. So I like, you know, we have the best burlesque dancers, then we have three of the hottest young comics in Los Angeles. The Naughty Show always brings the best comedians. And it's just going to be like an hour, two hours of just really fun, crazy comedy. And it, it's it's the best of everything. And, and it's the best of everything because it goes to support Fullerton Cares, which tell us a little bit about that. Acceptance, awareness, and action are the pillars of Fullerton Cares. And where is that located? In Fullerton. That's uh, basically <laughs> where it's located. I don't know. The dog North, this is it. North this is it. Orange <laughs> County, to be exact, I thought, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's not code or it's not a riddle. It's in yeah. Fullerton. <laughs> and uh, basically, these uh, these two guys, you can't see them off camera. They're out. Larry and Nick, who Hi, look Larry like Nick. they're bounty hunters slash tow truck drivers, uh, were nice enough to... <laughs> Did they put this event everybody on six years? Everybody started scattering when they walked in the yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're coming for your cars, everybody. And um, Which is a funny chair. You ever hear Cars for Kids? They, they want your car? It's like, who doesn't need their car? Who's just going to give them <laughs> your car? Like, you want this plaid shirt, though, but you want my car. What am I going to do? I need a car. But the point is that these guys uh, have been putting this together for five years, and last year was a huge success, was a packed house. And they wanted to mix it up, you know? So it's like year six, so you did five years of straight comedy, and that was great. Let's do a little, let's bring some burlesque dancers, let's bring in a fun DJ, and let's like have a crazy crowd. We're gonna have giveaways in the show, we'll give away some fun stuff for everybody. And it's going to be an hour, uh, hour or two of power. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. I guarantee you, you won't to, forget to about come it. Come out. You can go to Fullerton. Are you Cares. coming out? Are you I'm going to try to come out. I think it'd be fun yeah. if we both went. Fullertoncares.com. It's a Wednesday, you so that's go, you know. Yeah, we're, I want everybody to. <laughs> 
we're, we're people who go to bed at 7 30 yeah. on Wednesdays. But what time do you get up? Uh, well, no, we don't like go to bed five. at 7 30, but you know, we've got the I'm kids you know, on the spectrum. It's right? a, it's a, it's a school autism. night. I'm a single mom. I, but, I respect yeah. that. <laughs> but, I respect that. But uh, for this, you know, we, we'll, we'll we make, would make an, an exception. We'll make an effort. Um, so, yeah, once again, we want to say. Will you ladies dance in the show? Some burlesque? Okay, well, I want to talk about burlesque. Can I get some lady I've never been to a burlesque show before. And so, like, what, for people, People who don't know, what can we expect? What is that going to be? How naughty are we talking? Did you see the movie Burlesque? No. Have you been to any kind did. of, uh, do you love theater? Who did? Do you I love, do love theater. theater. I okay. do love the theater. Well, imagine a show, instead of having acting, they just had all the dance. Okay. And all the dance sequences. And that's really what the... And, the, and the, the dancers are in rather skimpy. He, I mean, like, kind of like Vegas. What do you want them to Vegas. dance? Vegas. Have Vegas. you ever seen Dance Vegas Showgirls? Yes. Well, yes. So burlesque well, Showgirls was about strippers. Oh, okay, this one's sorry. about burlesque. I'm not saying the movie. Dancers. I'm like, have you ever seen Vegas Showgirls? Oh yeah, yeah. Sure. It's kind of like that. Yeah, it's. A, but it's do a, they do they disrobe? Uh, I mean, like, no, there's no nudity or anything right, like right, that. It's okay. like it's it's fun. everybody can go have a good time. Yeah, it's not gonna okay. uh, destroy anyone's moral compasses. It's, <laughs> everybody will have fun. There won't be any craziness or boycotting going on. This is for a good time and a good. Class. And we should say this benefits <laughs> autism and yeah. it benefits uh, Fullerton Cares, right. but. It's not an autism event in terms. Your comedy is not autism based. No, uh, this is a. There, there might be some things having to do with that, but this is. A there's always going to be a couple you speakers. You have a nephew with autism. Yeah, so. I have a nephew. Yeah. And of course, you know Larry very well, who is. Yes. Uh, was the founder, and Larry started this because he was inspired by his son. Yes. But and this is an evening of fun and fun. comedy. Yes. Absolutely. Not a, there yes. are always going to be charity right. events right. where yeah. you're going to get all the information yeah. of yeah. what's this going on. This is not on. an educational event. <laughs> there will be a little. There's always some education going on. I always bring the education. I, I, I go 411 on everybody. So, But there will there'll be some, obviously, talk about you know, what's happening with the funds made here. Nobody wants to just give their money and hope and pray. Right. So, he'll, you know, Larry. We'll, we'll probably have somebody there who will discuss where the funds will go and what difference we've made from year to year. Yeah, and ninety-five, almost a hundred thousand dollars for local, yeah, you know, initiatives there. I, I mean, it really impressive. It is impressive, and you know, he's doing out of love of his heart, which is why charities are. If you're going to go to a comedy show, go to a charity event. Just know yeah. that yeah, might it's well going to a good event. So I want to know for good cause. I want to know, Sam, what at what point in your life did you realize that this is what you wanted to do? That's a great question. I always get asked. When did you know you wanted to be a stand-up comic? And the honest answer is, from the moment I realized I existed in the universe is the time I wanted to make people <laughs> laugh. Even though I didn't even know what stand-up was, the name for it, I always wanted to do it. Okay, so but did you know you were funny like when you were like uh, a toddler? I yeah, I oh, I got you I got funniest laugh. in sixth grade and I got okay. funniest. I the only person to go to high school with the sole purpose to win class clown in his senior year. <laughs> so from seventh to twelfth grade, that's all I did was work on okay. trying to but get was class. Sam, was that a coping mechanism to hide some inner pain? I'm sure. Some insecurity. <laughs> hey, I don't want that big guy punching me in the face, maybe if I make him laugh. And you know, I mean like when you're in high school being funny isn't attractive to girls, but once you get to college and oh. It totally changes the game. So I went from being really uh, weird in high school to being very attractive to the ladies. So, but it was definitely a coping mechanism. I wasn't the fastest. I wasn't the uh, strongest, the biggest, the most handsome. So you know, you have to you have to stand out somehow. And yeah, that's how I did it. I loved. It. I loved it. Who, who was the first stand-up that you saw that you went, oh, that's what that's called. That's what I want to do. Well, I mean, I, I remember my dad playing old Eddie Murphy records and uh, oh. my mom freaking out on him. And I was like, <laughs> oh, this is, I love this. What is this? And I, since then, always wanted to do it. See, I had to fight for attention yeah. in my house because my brother was the number one high school bowler in New York State. Wow, God. He was How the best of the best. That? He was, a, he was an eighth grader who hung out with grown men because he could bowl with 300s with both hands. But I'm going to guess was, that he was not a chick magnet. He actually had way more girl. Like I really? said, in high school, uh, being bowling funny is isn't attractive. Bowling. It's just not. Bowling is not actually get to college. sexy. Bowling? <laughs> bowling is, uh, dude, to be able to bowl with both hands. My brother was great at golf, and he was the number one high school bowler. He was the white Bo Jackson. And I lived in his shadow, which was weird because I was two years older than him. So it's like I had to find a way to get some attention. Right. And uh, that's kind of how it did. So. 
You know, I've been blessed. I've been, I'm a regular at the World Famous Comedy Store, which is considered the mecca of comedy. Uh, anybody who does stand up, their goal is to perform at the comedy store. I don't care where you're from. And I've been there for a long time. So a kid who was a C-plus student in high school, has, you know, I've performed on every continent. I've done stand-up everywhere. And it's, uh, it's I mean, like next month I go to China. You know, I've been to Australia, Canada. It's so crazy. And thanks to like the internet and Netflix now, everybody knows everything. It's it's so crazy. When do you get your own show? We're working on it. I have a project at <laughs> Comedy <laughs> Central right yeah. now. There we go. Okay. And so, but the real question is, what is your brother doing now that he, now, years ago, he was the number one bowler. What's what he you? doing now? He runs a bowling alley. <laughs> But I love him. If he sees this, he gets so mad at me. But no, he's great. He's you know he like to he likes to manage. Uh, he likes to go in. The, he, my brother's kind of like that TV show where they flip bars. He like he loves wow. to go into bars. He's like Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse now. Not so much with the fighting or the awesome hair. He just goes in, <laughs> finds somewhere that's not doing well, turns around, flips it, and then he moves on to the next place. Ah. That's kind of what he does. He's really good. He's. Me and him are the same person, but we just have different skill sets. Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. Okay. So for anybody who is watching this and, and loving this... And wants sure bowling lessons, hit up my lessons. brother. Uh, this, what a great charity event 100%. to go to. Uh, Fullerton Cares. This is happening in Fullerton, which is in Southern California. And it's at the, uh, the Fullerton Ballroom, which is on Commonwealth Avenue in Fullerton. It's Wednesday, October 19th. 19th. 7 to uh, 10 p.m. You can go but to. But there's a pre show reception at 5 30. Oh, and you could, could they, yeah. can they meet you? Yeah. And they could talk about the bowling. handshakes. <laughs> we talk bowling. And, and, and this particular show, it's kind of like you're bringing the naughty show. We're bringing Vegas to this charity. All right. Event. Okay. All right. We'll, you can go to eventbrite.com comedy show for autism. But we can also, yeah. you know, we, uh, you can go to Fullerton Cares on Facebook yes. and connect that way. FullertonCares.com. Uh, FullertonCares.com, yeah. amazing organization that we've featured many times here before on the show because we love Fullerton Cares. Yes, we do. They've set a we model for, for communities all mm -hmm. over the country, all over the world. It's one of the best for places. how to be supportive. Yeah, to live if you have a, a someone yes. with autism. Shout out Fullerton. It's, okay. it's my uh, retirement plan. I okay. Think. Uh, gotta get there <laughs> can I go live in Fullerton? <laughs> yes. I mean, it's they have such so a many great amazing place things. for families. Not the least it's of great. which, they ha uh, Larry has a fabulous bar there. Yeah, yes. uh, bar and grill. Right. Um, karaoke night is awesome. Though. You oh, ever we done that? We were just that? talking. We were just just talking. Can we bring it? Really on a prayer, and I boom, I hit it. I, I love it. I love okay. It. So I didn't know. So it's Bourbon Street. Okay, so we're not inviting him to go. Why? You didn't think I crushed that? I crushed that. Okay. Um, There's but, a lot of dogs outside. They heard, they so, heard that pitch. Uh, but the name of uh, it's Bourbon Street Bar and Grill in Fullerton. We have to give a shout out to them. Do you, you have to do karaoke there? I did not yeah, know that. Yeah, let's bring it. Let's right. bring it karaoke. We've we'll we got to find some duets. Like for do sure. Me and you? I like it. <laughs> okay. I like it. I so like we it encourage lot. you guys. Go. Nancy and I are going to try to be there uh, that night for the Maybe dance. Show. A little dance on stage. Don't ask too much of me on a Wednesday. We'll make it rain. We'll make it rain. This moneymaker will not be shaking on that night. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'll applaud while everyone else does. Uh, in any case, so thrilled. Should we talk about some of the, the past people that have uh, been there? Do you know who the other comics are that are going to be there the night that you're going to be yes. there? Yes. There is uh, Greg Santos. You see him in several uh, national commercials. One of the he was on the show last year, I think. Here no, that was now. another Latino lady. <laughs> George uh, Perez. That was George <laughs> Perez. You know these Latinos. Have I not met? Uh, they, they start the blast. The they they the the start the in Fullerton. Uh, I thought we met Greg. All Maybe the Raiders. That's all they yell. <laughs> Maybe um, I've met Greg Santos. Oh, he's very funny. Name. Then there's a gentleman named uh, Gareth Reynolds, who's on one of the most popular podcasts in the world, called The Dollop. He's had a show on, his own show on MTV, a Comedy Central. He's one of the Literally the funniest dudes I know. I love them to death. And then there's a very funny young lady who's very risque. Her name is uh, Jessica Michelle Singleton. Her album went to number one on iTunes recently. She travels the world and she's literally not just, she's just one of the funniest comics out there and she's one of the best female comics you'll ever see, but she's one of the best comics. Mm, don't leave period. that DJ Crash. And then DJ Crash, who uh, she, he DJs all the uh, Playboy 
mansion parties, okay. and uh, it's you know he's great too. So yeah. bringing the funny, bringing bring the, the fun. funny, bringing the sexy, bringing bring bring Vegas, bring yeah, right. right. Vegas to Fullerton. All right, Vegas to Fullerton. We're there. Okay. All right, you guys, get your tickets. Support Fullerton Cares. Thank you so much <laughs> for being with us. Calm down. In the next time. <laughs> yeah, we have in the news to cover still. So thank <laughs> you guys for for tuning in for this. We're gonna take Sam, a break, and a then we're gonna be back with some news that's breaking. Oh, we're going to show the Fullerton Cares video right oh, now as great. we go to break. So okay. take a look. This is wonderful. Fullerton Cares. Hey, everybody. This is Joe Marisi. We're here live in Fullerton, California at the historic Fox Theater. And uh, we're here tonight for the fourth annual comedy show for autism put on by the Fullerton Cares Foundation. And uh, we're just hanging out outside the theater here. And uh, we're going to go talk to some folks right now and uh, see what brought them out tonight. Please. Uh, my name is Larry Hauser. I'm the founder of the Fullerton Cares Autism Foundation. And, um, and um, the one putting on this the whole event, us, me and me and my crew. Larry, uh, doing this for four years, what is it that uh, you like best about this event? Uh, what, what I like best about this event is there's a lot of um, uh, people in, in this area that don't normally go to like um, you know walks or, or um, any like stuffy fundraiser events. This is something that that those people don't come to, but they want to support. So that's why I really like, love this particular event is because of that. A lot of fun. Now, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with here? I am the Fullerton School District Board President, and the, um, well, I'm taking a lot of the money from tonight. <laughs> this is a wonderful event, and we can't wait to have the comedy and uh, raise the money for a worthy cause. events try to help raise money for the events and uh, seems like I said Larry Larry seems to do all the work and get the crew going and he just directs us around and we try to pick up the cash for him awesome Brian and Brian what is it uh, in your four years coming to the event what is it that uh, you like the most about it the comedians I mean last year we had a full lineup uh, this year I think the lineup's gonna be even better and I mean you can't beat it the event is the way that our community comes together that Everybody um, supports Fullerton Cares and supports the families that are part of Fullerton and, and that show up and, and, um, and create a really great environment for our kids to grow up in. Um, I'm actually out here to support my good friend Larry Hauser. Hello. Happy to be back and happy to support my buddy. Uh, what I like the best is uh, the amount of people that actually come out and support us and support the cause because they know it's a good cause, it's a local cause, local charity, and so it's just it's just nice to see the community come together for something that's for the community. Yeah. 